Hello, internet friend. We are starting this video on a random Wednesday. Some very exciting things have happened this week. I have finally been monetized on YouTube. Yeah! I woke up this morning rich. I literally made $2.48 in one day, which I am just amazed at you guys. I talk a little bit more about this in my last video, but again, thank you so much if you have supported me in any way, shape or form. I absolutely love hearing from you guys in the comments. So right now I am getting ready to head out and go shopping. I'm just trying to pick up a few essential pieces for spring. Before I do though, I have to rewind a little bit and show you the Kurangbin concert that Zach and I went to last night. It was absolutely incredible. So enjoy and I will check back in with you later. Also, if you are new here, hi, my name is Alex. I'm 28 years old, currently living in Southern California. I love documenting and sharing my life, including the highs and lows. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing because it really means the world to me. Do you ever park your car, lock it, because you don't want anyone to come up on you and rob you, and then you end up opening your car door, thus setting off your alarm? I'm not saying it happened to me. I'm just, I'm just asking for a friend. Oh man, I've been really wanting a new one of these, but I really want them to come with wrist cuffs as well. I really want these shorts, but they don't have it in my size. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to trigger my body dysmorphia, but we'll try it on anyways. I'm sorry, but this is reminding me of Hollister in 2010. <laughs> All right, so they're not the worst, but I definitely prefer them to be a bit bigger. This is our first serious contender. I know that stripes have been very in right now. I doubt I'm gonna find anything today, but I do have a wedding in June, so I'm just starting to browse a little bit. I kid you not, that was one of the most unsuccessful shopping trips that I have had in a while. And honestly, that is a good sign to me. That just means that I am getting pickier, which is what I have been wanting to work on this last year. 
really getting picky about the quality of clothing that I buy, the brand. I really want clothes that will last me a long time. It was a little bit last minute, but Zach and I decided to go and celebrate my monetization at Cesarina, which is my absolute favorite Italian restaurant. They are on the Michelin Guide for San Diego. They don't have a star just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did get one soon. If you are a foodie and if you're ever in San Diego, this place is a 100% must try. And we are very lucky to have gotten in today. Usually they are always booked out. I am so obsessed with their interior design. This shelf right here is like from the 70s. It is almost $4,000 and I just obsess with it almost every single time. And yeah, I'm just asking Zach to get a shot of me pouring this water because look at this cool ass pitcher. They have an actual espresso machine. So the espresso martinis are next level. And if you come, you certainly have to try their polpo croissant. Oh wait, I don't know how to say it. Polpo crocante. <laughs> Anyways, it's this. It's their octopus. It is absolutely incredible. I have never tried octopus until I tried this and I 100% recommend it. Even if you've never tried octopus, just try it. It is so, so good. And honestly, any pasta will fly at this place, but I usually get their fungi mushroom cream pasta. And today I decided to add three pieces of shrimp. So that was also amazing. I won't, I'll mute you. anyone who's ever said you'll never regret working out aka me i've said that try ripping your pants in the crotch area while you're at the gym i mean it's not the worst it, it could have been worse obviously it could have been in my ass but still very embarrassing but no i'm just kidding i mean i don't really regret it because technically nothing actually embarrassing happened and i've still got a very good workout in so i'm currently having a post gym lazy session sitting in my underwear uh on the couch i just filed a few disputes for some old copyright claims that I had on some older videos. I'm gonna take a really quick body shower. But yeah, I've been feeling really happy lately. Getting monetized has honestly been such a boost of confidence. It truly just makes this all feel a little bit less embarrassing. And it's just really cool to feel like we're actually building a little community in here. So thank you very much for hanging out on my corner of the internet. And if you haven't already said hi, please drop a comment if you're comfortable doing so I'd love to know where you're from, what season you're currently living in, and just generally what type of content you enjoy watching. Not only does it help me make content that you guys will enjoy, but I also genuinely love getting to know you.
I just want to briefly talk about the importance of getting out, even if you're not spending money or planning to buy anything. I've mentioned this in a few other videos, but I have always really relied on getting out to experience the world as a very important aspect of maintaining my mental health. I only recently discovered that it is a sociological concept called third spaces, and they are just so beneficial for helping to foster a sense of community and social interaction. I've especially really loved getting out to explore bookstores recently, not just Barnes & Noble, but used bookstores. Now that I feel like I have built up a good collection of books that I want to read, it's really fun just sort of hunting for those books or coming across other books from those same artists, maybe for a much cheaper price. It is Sunday morning. I had a pretty lazy day yesterday. I mostly just couch rotted and edited for like four to five hours. I wasn't feeling my very best, but I am feeling much better today. So we are heading to the farmer's market. Apologies for this vlog having been a little bit chaotic and unstructured. Hope you're still having a great time. I wanted to show you my outfit for the day. Lately, I've been really into mixing together feminine and more masculine pieces. So. This is my most recent version of that. I'm honestly kind of experimenting with it. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna love it by the end of the day, but honestly, in my opinion, that's what makes fashion fun. I know that sometimes for me, in order to evolve fashion-wise, I have to take chances. Sometimes you might end up regretting your outfit by the end of the day, but at least you tried. And in my opinion, that helps you build more fashion creativity. So yeah, we'll see. Felt cute, might never wear again, but also might. What do you guys think?
I just took a delicious shower and put a little face tint on before recording. Just trying to keep it real because I usually have much darker circles around my eyes. We only really bought strawberries, eucalyptus, and a little bit of lunch, but we also got to connect with one of the artists that we purchased our wall art from. He remembered us. I got to add him on Instagram, give him a shout out. He was super excited and pleased with the way that I styled his art. And then at one point we were standing in line to get something, I forgot what, but a really eclectic and outgoing folk artist in a red dress invited us to her folk show next month and she was just super super sweet her and Zach connected over being musicians a little bit and she also recommended a few spots for him to connect with other musicians in San Diego and then when I was standing in line to get a Cuban sandwich I heard a man in front of me say that he lived in Miami for five years so he knows that they are good Cuban sandwiches so of course I brought up the fact that I'm also from Florida we spoke a little bit of Spanish to each other and it was just a very wholesome interaction that made me feel happy. Right now I'm about to film a monthly favorites video. It'll be my first time filming one and I'm very excited to do it. I'm in no way shape or form trying to promote overconsumption though so it is going to have a lot of non-material items like books, podcasts, music, TV shows, etc. So tune in for that. And I'll probably just spend the rest of the day editing, relaxing, reading. I kind of feel like I need a little bit of a mental reset. It was a very eventful week and I'm feeling a little bit beat. I'm really trying to learn and embrace the art of being bored more often. I tend to feel a little bit anxious or I start to make a panic list of things that I feel like I need to do to fill up the time. But I know that at the end of the day, doing nothing sometimes can be very grounding to me. And it can also really help to re-inspire me creatively. Like how can I expect my mind to come up with creative ideas if I'm not giving it a moment to actually rest and think? Anyways, thank you so much if you made it this far. Your time is precious and valuable and I appreciate you spending it with me. I never want to rely on you guys for content but I'm also just genuinely curious if you have any recommendations or suggestions for videos that you would like to see feel free to drop a comment and let me know and I will see you next time